Travel smarter. Cylinder safety. If you're diving a lot this next dive season, you might find yourself moving tanks to and fro dive sites on a regular basis. Amid the work of planning the dive and emergency preparations, it's easy to overlook the safety hazards that come with some of the most mundane pieces of equipment. The tanks we use to explore the underwater world are safe, but only if they're handled with appropriate care and precaution. Minimize your risks this next dive season and know the hazards before you get in the water. Here are a couple of tips. Firstly, lift with your knees. Back injuries, while rarely the diver's most significant safety concerns, are the cause of many missed dives every year and serious back injuries can cause long-term problems. Moving a dive tank is a relatively straightforward affair but it is heavy enough to cause a pulled muscle or slip disc if you lift it incorrectly. If you must lift a tank not attached to a carry handle or BCD focus on moving the weight with your legs and keeping a straight back throughout the lift. Even better, attach the tank to a BCD, lift it from a comfortable seated position and then carry it to your destination on your back. You'll have two hands free to stabilize yourself or carry the rest of your gear. Next, compressed air concerns. The more you transport and use tanks, the more frequently you'll be exposed to the related hazards and the more important it is to keep them in mind. These hazards are manageable but they require a little extra thought when planning a dive. Keep your tanks serviced and cool and handle them appropriately. Tanks require annual visual inspection and hydrostatic testing every four or five years depending on the country you're in. And tank valves have their own maintenance requirements. Make sure your equipment is serviced regularly to minimize your risk of failure, both large and small, and to confirm appropriate function of valves. Store your tanks in a cool, dry area. If you're not going to dive with them for a few weeks, it's a good idea to store them with just a couple of bar in them enough to keep moisture out but not cause sustained load stress that could shorten tank life. When you transport tanks to a dive site, pay close attention to the outside temperature and how long your tanks will be in the car. As tanks heat up, the compressed gas inside attempts to expand and the likelihood of dealing with a burst disc failure will increase. A final important concern is physical gas embolism caused by inappropriate handling of the valve. When you pick up your tank, always make sure the opening of the valve is facing away from your hand so that if your hand slips and the valve opens, you won't accidentally inject high pressure gas through the skin and cause gas embolism to your hand. Next buckle up. You wear seat belt in your car for good reason and so should your tank. A full scuba tank stores immense amounts of energy. If it ruptures as a result of a car accident it can cause serious injuries or even death to people in or near the vehicle. Tanks can be restrained with simple tie downs. Heavy equipment such as weight belts or gear bags or specially made vehicle transport racks. But they should always be restrained in a way that prevents them from moving around the passenger compartment in case of an accident.